All right, hello everybody. We are back with React. Uh, we're gonna go over um, another one that uh, we wanted to have the majority of us here to go over this one. So we're gonna go over use state to toggle an element. <clears throat> yeah, all right. It says you can use state in React applications in more complex ways than what you've seen so far. One example is to monitor the status of a value, then render the UI conditionally based on this value. There are several different ways to accomplish, accomplish this, and the code editor shows one method. <clears throat> My component has a visibility property, which is initialized to false. All right, so we can test this by saying true, and it says now you see me, but it's initialized false to begin. All right, so basically, we're gonna create a, something to make that visible, and then it'll just swap between visible and not visible. Currently, there's no way of updating the visibility property in the component's state. The value should toggle back and forth between true and false. There's a click handler on the button, which triggers a class method called toggle visibility. <clears throat> Define this method so the state of visibility toggles to the opposite value when the method is called. If visibility is false, the method sets it to true and vice versa. Finally, click the button to see the conditional rendering of the component based on its state. All right, so the, the render is done and the button on click is, is here. All right. Don't forget to bind the this keyword to the method in the constructor. All right, so the bind is here. And then, okay. All right, so. I need to set, set, so I set state here, is that correct? Or I set state here? State in constructor. Set state in constructor. Set state, okay. Yeah, state is already there. You need to update it. For that, you have to write that toggle visibility method. Right? Yeah. You have so toggle visibility should... method on button. Write that outside constructor. State is inside constructor, it is already there. This dot state. We are updating that set state. We are, we are so I should bind it here, right? Yeah, you should bind there. This set state? No, no, no. Binding, we are binding the method. So our method name is toggle visibility. Okay. And then this. Toggle visibility dot bind this. Is that right? Yes. I don't need to say this dot state. No, no, it's already there in the line for the state is initialized. Yeah. We are, we are it's supposed part to of the, okay. Yeah. It is in front structure. We are supposed to update that state using this toggle visibility method. So inside that method, we will update the state. Okay. First, first write the toggle visibility method. In that, use set state method. Toggle visibility. Is a method open parenthesis and method parenthesis and then curly braces. Yeah. Inside there, and here we need to switch yeah. the state to yeah. the opposite. 
yeah update state using that set state method okay then yeah curly braces and then this type thing this dot set state that's this dot state no no there we just write visibility colon just look at our state in the constructor and follow that only okay or visibility colon and then i need to say the opposite yes. so say pull the uh, pull the state from our pull the visibility from state this that state dot that visibility yeah i think we should add this before that set state also this dot set state okay now it I just gotta practice this. Toggle visibility is a method. We are calling that method on click, and in that method, we are updating the state using set state method. We can't directly assign the reassign the state value. We should use set state to update the state value. For variables, we just simply write visibility equals true, something like that. But here in state, we should use set state to update the state value. So whenever we click, it updates the visibility to false to false with toggles. Okay, I'm reading the function for function description for bind. Okay. For a given function, creates a bound function that has the same body as the original function. That this object of the bound function is associated with the specified object. And has spec the special specified initial parameters. Okay, we will see this bind. There are two two more methods also there for bind, call, and apply. We will practice them in uh, JavaScript class. Yeah. Call, apply, bind. There are three methods are there. Okay. We will see them in JavaScript class. Okay. Yeah, I just got out of my JavaScript, man. It's not totally making sense, but yeah, it takes some time to understand things because they're all new stuff. Yeah. Does this make? Did this work for you, Mesfin? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna run it. And. We can move on. Uh, let me get this actually. Let's swipe it and just drop it in here. What's the, uh, so if I wanted to send this to the DOM, I would need to do, React DOM. But I need to use this render. Yeah. Is it a React setup? Yeah. React, you have React. React DOM. Yeah, DOM. React is set up here. Okay. 
So if I if I wanted to do that here, I would need to set up no, yes. something oh, outside of the class. React DOM dot where is React DOM dot render something like that. Render and then we need to component you want to render and the root element. Okay. So the component is my component. Yeah. Okay. My component. And then let's send it to this challenge node. Yeah, scroll down a bit on the HTML page. Is there a JavaScript? If I have these, it will work. It's connected to this. I think it's connected already in the back. Yeah, the script is already connected. <laughs> yeah, uh, it doesn't work that way. Mm. It doesn't work? Yeah, it doesn't work. Is that yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, How would I get this to uh, render to the DOM? So, uh, yeah, do you want to work it in an HTML way, like like this? Uh, I I guess I want to make it work the way that is conventional. I guess. So the the conventional is that to create uh, to use React app, not this one. Yeah, we can try this one also, but but this one is like one is so slow and also a lot of buggy. So I yeah. don't recommend you to use this. Okay. So the the conventional way is that uh, you can go to uh, uh, React. No, no, this, I mean, no, no. Just uh, make some uh, separate folder for that right now and uh, use your okay. terminal to install the create react app so it will give, give the all setup to use yeah uh, okay. let me show you open your terminal i will, I will tell you <coughs> and go, go to to the desired uh, uh, folder you want to put it okay it will be here in the react w3 develops okay show me that do you have node.js node dash v uh it wouldn't be in this folder node just write node okay dash v yeah yeah so there is not okay so now you do npx <coughs> uh space react uh dash up uh okay before that you have to say create react okay. app okay create add create yeah create dash okay yeah and then after that a space the name of the f mm, what do you want to the, the name, name of the, the the js file no, no no i mean the name of the app like let's say fcc react for example okay yeah, I'll just name it this. Should it be in? Uh... I mean, this is just a project, so uh, it's not like uh, specific to one uh, component. It's just it's. Can I do I put it in quotes or it should be uh, one word? Just one word, like let's say FCC React, for example. Okay. It will. Oh, it's running it. <laughs> Whoops. You are creating a project. Yeah, but the project. Project, project is a lot. <laughs> What's that? Uh, no. You can just abort this one, like Control X or something. Name because yeah. can only contain URL friendly code. Yeah. yeah, app arrow. Just say FCC React, like together. Yeah, or I'll say. FCC React. Yeah, like that. Yeah. And then use 
state. Uh, do you want it for only for one example? Do you want for one example? This is just general. I can write a lot. In just FCC React is enough. Yeah. Okay, so this can be for the entire FCC it's React. For the entire, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. Yeah. It's, so it's resolving. Yeah. So you have a YAML package also. Okay. So I have React and React DOM. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know I needed to do this. Yeah, this is the simplest and uh, conventional way, and it's really nice. Okay, <coughs> I I had uh, somebody tell me to do the Angular Quick Start, and so I've seen Angular uh, be installed like this with all the packages and everything. Yeah, they have this Angular CLI. Mm -hmm. He can also install this project like in a global level, right? And next time he can. Okay. Yeah, now, hacking. now, now, CD FCC. And tab. Tab. Yeah. yeah. Enter this directory. Yeah. Yes. And right now, code C O D E code like code space dot internal internal like inter, inter. press inter. <laughs> inter enter no 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 press press <laughs> keyboard press the it okay okay all right okay you don't have it oh okay it's okay code it's okay then right. i'm in the macbook so yeah okay anyway you have to open this folder on your on your VS code. VS code. Open, VS code. It. Yeah. Open it with your list. Open oh. it with the first code. Open which folder? The, the whole okay. uh, Let me help him. Like, uh, go back one. Uh, Is it not like, here? All these? Let's do like this. Okay. CD dot, dot dot. Yeah. CD dot dot. Okay. Now write code. Yeah, code space write that now fcc react enter it doesn't found the bash, bash. that's why he is not in the bash sale so. i'm in bash yeah i mean the bash doesn't found the code the the syntax yeah, code. Yeah, open I mean, it from the menu. command and yeah just open it from here which one do I want to open? The, in the, the whole the whole folder FCC React. Like go to file, open folder, new folder. Oh, so it should be using VS Code. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, was it open folder or something? Open workspace. I think. There is open. Okay. Let me add the workspace. Yeah, yeah. this one. The whole this. This is this okay. is. And Just then, yeah, you have the project now. Now, uh, now in your terminal, uh, yes, in your terminal, go to CDFCC React because you are not in that CD FCC. Uh, then <coughs> yarn, I no, can, NPM, no, he has yarn already. Yarn starts because it, it, it. Space start, yeah. 
Enter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, it's wait, still wait. holding. Yeah. It's still going. I it's think it'll open. Like, it'll, it'll, it'll open take a minute. Um, browser or something. Yeah. What is yarn? It's like a NPM, NPM. something it's like NPM. Similar to NPM. You don't want to access. Okay. It's like a live yeah. server there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, there is lives. So there's so many stuffs there. So it's a server. Yeah, no, now it's not here. Yeah. yeah. It's taking a minute. Yeah, yeah, well, it depends on, on the speed of it. You have so many stuffs are running around. <laughs> yeah, I can actually get out of some of this. Okay. Yeah, this is red. <laughs> Okay. So uh, you need to go to. So now I need to edit. Yes. The Visual Studio Code. Go to app source file. No, no, just source file. Can you see the source folder? Yeah. Go to app.js. Yeah. Yeah. In here, you you put the uh, stuff you want. I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. So now bring the code that before with the code that yeah. if FCC from the React. Yeah, I think it's here. Always. Yeah, bring that code without the render. We don't need render. Just only the code. You don't Just need this code. render. Okay. So delete Replace this. Yes, all. Leave the bottom. It's, Leave it's the good bottom. that to delete this all so that you 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 will learn a lot later. Okay. Yeah. Delete them all. All of this. Yeah. Even the React. Yeah, yeah, you you will you will learn by importing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because anyway. But I do want to import, right? Import. React. Um, okay. From React. Okay. That's it. I mm. mean, my code? Yes, let's see. Ah, oh, you have also. We don't need both. I don't need the DOM. Yeah, we don't need the DOM. <sighs> so we have here my component. Um, down uh, visibility is good. Uh, okay. Okay. He need to import component. Uh, up. Uh, we don't we don't import component because we are just using it with the dots notification. We don't need component. Okay. Save it and run it. So now before you run it, uh, uh, what down. Is that? No, it's okay. We're we are, we are building it. Down, go to the end, export. Export. Default. Default. Uh, up A, capital A, PP. Capital A, PP. Yeah, semicolon. Semicolon. Yeah, change the name, my company, to up. Up, go to the beginning. Change the my component to app. This class my component change it to app. Yeah, save it. Now there is nothing wrong. You will see the visibility. Yeah, click here. Ah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. 
<laughs> we did it. <laughs> it's a React app. Yeah. Nice. All right. Thanks, man. Nice. Nesvin, did you want to try this? Uh, I have it already. Oh, man. You're holding out on me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, follow that book last the other day. He, he ah, shared. Okay, okay. Oh, you did the book. Okay. That's the book. <laughs> That's the book. <laughs> That's the magic. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. That's my first real re create React app, huh? <laughs> Nice. If you go to console from here, uh -huh. like, now we can see that the React, uh, I think last time you installed. Is yeah, cool? the React to to console. Uh, up. Yeah. Uh, yes, that React. Now you can see that what component you have. The component is up. Look, the visibility is true. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can now click, the visibility will be changing. Yeah, you can click. Now, see? See, you are changing it. Uh -huh. Toggling. Yeah, you are toggling it. <laughs> can you see the change? Oh, yeah. 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 Nice for sure. Sweet. So there are like the button, you have that's prop. It. Can you see in the left or the right there is props which has children of array, two arrays. One is the button and there is one is the H one. Yeah. Yeah. You can learn also what is props, what is children. <coughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. What is prop? What is children? You can see that the zero is the button, and the one is the H one. And this is the parent. Wait, that that's, that's the parent. Yeah, uh, it's saying children. Ch saying children of this is two. Two arrays. Yeah, the first array is uh, the the button. Type button. Yes. The zero. And the second array is type H one. Yes. Yes. It's no man, because it's rough. Rough oh, is the H one. The, yeah, but the children, the inside is the if you go to props, if you go there inside the Here. props, yeah, yeah, you will see the children. Uh, now you see me is the children. Yeah. If you go to button also, you will see click me as a children. Mm. Click me. So if yeah. you go to yeah, click me as a children. Yeah. This is Hmm. Yeah. And it's bound. We we bound it. Yes, because in the constructor you say that bind dot toggle visibility. That's bound means. Wow. Yeah. So this is how it yes. gets uh, translated in the console. Yeah, yeah. Basically this is behind React is translating to you. So this is <laughs> Under the hood. Yes, under the hood, basically. All this. Yeah. Is what's going on under the hood. Yeah, this is what you write. This is the one that you are now is what you write. But the one that on the left, on the right is what you, what React is translating. Yeah, this is what's going on. Yes, yes. Behind the scenes. This is yeah. what. Yeah, is. this is what you write. So, this is the virtual DOM. Uh, this is the actual, like actual. This uh, is the actual, this is the yeah, virtual that. DOM. Yes, yes. That's okay, right. the props. Yeah, with the props. So many <laughs> stuff. Yeah, these details aren't in the actual DOM. Yeah, and also you, yeah. You know, you play with this and you'll hang off, hang off it, you're used to it. 
<coughs> this is the HTML. Yeah. This is the actual DOM. Yes. What what they say? Yeah, yeah. This is actual DOM. Yeah. That is my. Yeah. Not everything of this. Most of this you did it right. It's been bundled. Yeah. Yeah. We we only have to the React div access to this HTML. Once go to React uh, tab. Yeah. I think there will be some say, click on that uh, gear or some gear icon there. Yeah. Here. Okay. Yeah. Select highlight updates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a really nice feature, yeah. And now. Yeah. So you can just toggle this. Yeah, you can see the component is changing. It highlights the component is changing. I mean, it's ah. only H1, not, not button. Button is yeah. not changing, you can see. Only yeah. H1. Yes, only H1 is like like CSS visibility hidden or something like that. Yeah. The H1 is the one that's hidden and coming. It's like display and... Yeah, display and then... And you can see some blue border around the component. If you have many components, it will highlight that only component which is updating. Yeah, it's giving a blue line. Yeah. You have only one component, so it doesn't make sense, but if you ask full page you can identify I see. which part is updating yeah yes. i see it's showing you the laser focus of which node is being altered okay wow all that hmm. Yeah, okay. That was a good, uh, good little, I mean, it was meaningful. I mean, that's more like real, this is like real world React, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not like uh, the, the action is not real because it's like still tutorial world, but in the DOM itself is, Real, yeah. Uh, All right. Would anybody like to do this one, or should I just read it? No takers. All right. I'll just read this one. All right. Write a simple counter. You can design a more complex stateful component by combining the concepts covered so far. These include initializing state, writing methods that set state, and assigning click handlers to trigger these methods. The counter component keeps track of a count, value, and state. These are two buttons which call methods increment and decrement. Write these methods so the counter value is incremented or decremented by one when the appropriate button is clicked. Also create a reset button, a reset method. So when the res reset button is clicked, the count is set for zero. Note, make sure you don't modify the class names of the buttons. Also remember to add the necessary bind bindings for the newly created methods in the constructor. All right. So this is where bindings will be. And then this is where we'll have increment, decrement, and reset. Yeah. OK. And okay, so they're already doing that with the buttons. Yeah. <clears throat> now 
Now, we'll first start with the increment. And find it. Okay, so this, or no, no. Yeah, this dot increment. This dot increment. increment. Equals this dot increment. Yes. Dot bind. Dot bind. This. This. Yeah. So you can finish all to reset to other sources. Decrement. Yeah. Reset. Okay, yeah. so that's good. That increment. Okay. Uh, this uh, set state. Tell it uh, what's the name of okay count <coughs> so count <coughs> but we need to tell it it's going to be count but we need to access it by the component. Okay, so this dot state that count. We need to increment it. No. Okay, I'm breaking something now. So we need a property there. Property of count. Yeah, kind of. We need to access the props or the start state. And this that increment. Okay, maybe I don't need the state now. This that increment. Thank you. 
One moment, guys. I might need to. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, one sec. Here, let me see. Yeah, I will. Make those changes in methods, right methods for increment, decrement, and reset. Okay. Is expecting a. No, just that's not the way to update the state. You use that count colon. Mm -hmm. Before that, write count colon. The state value is count, right? Yeah. Count colon. Oh, yeah. okay. So it should dot, be. This dot state dot count minus one. This dot state dot count plus one. We did this yesterday. Yeah. Minus one. Use minus one. It didn't work when we used the minus minus yesterday. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. And put that set state in the method called decrement. You should write methods. You binded three methods, right? In the binding, increment, mm -hmm. decrement, reset. But you haven't wrote that methods here. Right? Increment, open the functional braces and curly braces. Inside that, write this the this that set state. So, Where at? Up here? Okay. No, after the 15 increment. Uh -huh. Just take new line, keep it as it is. Yeah, take a new line after the 15. Okay. Yeah. Write decrement. That is increment, right? Increment. That is increment. Sorry. Uh, this is increment. Yeah. Increment. Oh. Increment. Complete that increment. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. Outside that curly base. Outside that preferences. Uh, like that. Yeah. Okay. Now put this this dot set set inside that from 19 to 21. Uh, yeah. So yeah. do that for all three. And then. And then update yeah. that line 18 with the count colon. The line 18 updated with the count colon. Yeah. And you just say count this dot state dot count and then plus one and then decrement Okay, yeah, and then same reset. <clears throat> and then you reset. Is that right, or yeah, yeah, I think it works not. I think the same. This dot state dot com. Oh, why is it saying not a number? Oh, I, yeah. Well, the reset is there. I misspelled it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I need to get more familiar with this. Making the method. That's a method, yeah. Yeah, I just got to get more practice with this. Okay.
Maybe, I don't know. I just have to practice this one again. Because, yeah. yeah. Just reset we, it and write it on your own. We did it yesterday, yeah. And then I just yeah. totally forgot. Uh, did anybody else have a problem with this one? Mesfin, you? No, I'll okay. get it. Okay. What's that? Did, yeah. did yours work? It's okay for me. Okay. Okay. Let me see if I can drop this one in there. I, what is this one called? Okay, so it's called counter. Say export default. Uh, there it is. Let me go. Where am I telling it to go? Okay. Can you only e export one at a time from a specific code? Uh, no, make some different component with that in the source. Make a separate file. Create a separate. Or you can JS file. Out. No, no, no. Out. Oh. Elliot. Yes. For every challenge, create separate file in the source folder. Okay. And import it. Yeah. Just copy that one and create separate JS file. Create a new JS file with them. I see. Yeah. In the <clears throat> here in the source folder. And your left side you can see some source. Yeah. 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 Inside that. Uh, click, you can click on that new create on the top. You have some icons yeah. to create the file yeah. that folder that is file. Yeah, click here. Uh, now name it, give it some challenge counter uh, react counter. That is. yeah, now paste that in here. Now come back to the app, <clears throat> import that counter here. I think move that visibility also in separate and just use the app to render all those comments. Okay. Now go to index.js. Uh huh. Index.js. Index.js. No need, we can render it on the app also here. So. No, we can, because I was, he can import it. Import, counter. Here. No, oh. Elliot, do it on app, it will look cleaner, I think. We can do render all the components in app. 
Okay. Now <clears throat> now I uh, create a functional component because it's just rendering, right? Yeah. The array yeah. function constant const up const up space up is equals to arrow function. That's parenthesis arrow. <laughs> okay. We know how to write arrow function like. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, parenthesis and arrow. The bracket. No, it's yeah. arrow and then return calib the, the calibers. Yeah, then return. Return. Div like uh, parenthesis, open parenthesis, like a method. Yeah. Inside the return, write div, so that we 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 return multiple components. Div div like div div. Oh, here. HTML inside the return. Inside. Okay. Give element. That's it. Now, uh, now go to line number two. That's it. Leave it. Import whatever you want. Let's say import uh, counter capital yeah counter from quote quotation mark or oh yeah dot slash slash counter you can see that yeah and then call yeah you can import visible toggle also okay toggle yeah and then embed <coughs> in the div come to the div 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 inside div uh -huh. yes yes in that one or uh, bring the component counter C capital counter yes and then visibility toggle yeah whatever you are doing exercise you can bring it here that's it now you can see all render uh -huh. now you see all the components rendered in one case uh, F12 let's see yeah, now open F12 and they see React. Yeah, okay. Um, Maybe I need to save everything. React DOM. Yeah, counter also. You didn't save counter, JS. Save, save the counter. I can see there is a way. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, go now. Yeah, now you have all the visibility and the counters. Now you can see that blue line highlighting the component. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. <coughs> so from now, just create a new file for every challenge and render it an app. Yeah. yeah. 
That's it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, I think. <coughs> uh, let me create all these. Uh, create. React app with toggle and counter challenges added. Yes, 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 yes. Say what I'm coming to. Yes, they are. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Wow. I feel like it makes more sense when I, once I've seen it from here. Then I feel like it makes more sense. You know? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Can you stop here today? Or what do you think, guys? Yeah. Uh, before that, uh, let, me sh let me share my, my yeah. screen. I'll, my stop. Screen I'll stop. Yeah. I'm going yeah. to mute myself. Okay. Um, can you see? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I want you uh, to create as an exercise like a heading, adding, click it button, and which has three buttons the plus five, and plus 25, oh. and plus I like 50. This. I like this. So when I click plus five, it will, it will hold plus whatever I am counting, is this, these values should be changed. The 80, like if I press. Like three of them one times, it will give me the summation eighty. Okay, initial uh, is zero. Initial, if I didn't click, initially it is zero. Initially, can you it, can you post this in the uh, the channel? Yeah, I'm just creating it now. Then yeah. I will post it. Yeah, and post uh, post it in the channel, and then uh, maybe post like. <clears throat> a few pictures of like what it looks like once you've clicked the plus five or plus twenty five. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Uh this will uh because now we learned the counter. This is all about counter. Uh, so we can take it as a challenge to do Yes, as a challenge and, and a few tips. You don't have to create like three <laughs> three Proper. Three counter component. You don't have to. Just yeah. think about it. I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. Uh, you can review the code on next day also. Yeah, make reusability and 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 whenever you click this, it should have a value of five, not something. And this have a value of twenty five. This have a value of fifty. So these values are fixed or? Huh? Uh, the values are fixed, right? Like five is always five on this button. Uh, initially, uh, when you click, this is like the uh, the value is it's not fixed, but the value will be rendered when you click the button. Like if I click the plus five, it will give me five points to whoever the yeah. submission right now is. Yeah. Yeah. So I will suggest you for us to do the counter and really master the counter. And after that, it's just make three counters like, and then just build H1, which has is equal to N, which render the results. Do you have any question? Because it's, it's really nice time to ask. Initially, this, if I didn't, when the when the page re renders, this is what you get. Click it button to zero. No, I, this is perfect. I, I like these kind of suggestions. So. 
I think this is okay. a good practice. Like when we have projects, then it it becomes real when it gets outside of the tutorial, you know? Yeah. Okay. So if you write a little bit more instructions, like detail what we want to do. Or what if, what if we added a, a toggle function into this too? Uh, toggle, uh, which makes what? We toggled something. Uh, you can toggle what? this. What? Toggle can... this not to show the submission. <laughs> or else we can use background color toggling. Okay. That's yeah, good. We can toggle the background uh, color option. I will I will add a latest question here. I will share I will show here like show for example. If you toggle this show, this submission will be show. Huh? Yeah, display. Yeah. This there click button, the submission will be shown. When when I click show, the show should be changed also to uh, uh, hidden. Another okay. another button should be created, and which says hidden. But not together, both no. When when you click this, this this show and it will it will be changed to a button hidden. When you click hidden, it will change to show. What do you think? <laughs> I think we yeah, should well. add toggle the theme. It is like the button. You can change the button. Ah, toggle what? Repeat that, Srikant. Srikant. Srikant, are you still there? Did we lose him? Hide. Show and hide, maybe. He was mentioning the background. No, I, have, I can't see. I can't hear him. Srikant. Oh... Maybe we can add more complexity uh, when we are developing it. Yeah, let's make them optional. But yeah, let, let's now good. let's now uh, focus yeah. on the, on let's this, this three uh, yeah, building three button and and get the submission. Yeah, a submission of the click buttons. No. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good that's a good project. Though. Yeah, and if after you make it, if you want to add more stuff to it, then feel yeah. Free. But at minimum, do uh, do the, the three buttons. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just be sure to like put that in the Discord so that anybody who knows React, but they can just do the project with us too. Like even though they weren't here today. Okay. Because, like, I'm sure Pat, uh, Pat will want to try this. Uh, and maybe some other people, like Adam. Adam might know React. And he might want to try this. But, yeah, I think that maybe that's a good stopping point. Yeah, okay. Oh, Shrikant mm -hmm. joined back. Because. I'm not that okay, I just re closed it and... Are you are you back? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, we were just saying uh why don't we just uh keep it my, at a a minimum of things color. to do right now? Yeah, it's a counter and we can, we can toggle the background color or something instead of toggling the result as well. Oh, yeah, we were that's so, that's so. <laughs> nice, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were saying uh, at a minimum do the buttons, but uh, after you've completed the buttons, if you want to add other functionalities just to like show off for fun and uh, just see what you can do, then uh, by all means, like go ahead. Oh, we lost Recount again, I think. I think he must have uh, some There's some connection error. connection issue. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's okay. He'll be back, I think. But uh, what uh, what type of markup is this? This is like draw dot io. It's just oh nice. I have to use this then. Yeah, uh, draw some like a kind of prototyping. Yeah, prototyping. Yeah, it's like markdown 
or like yeah, a, yeah, yeah they have or, some or, or your mock-up. My mock-up, yeah. I think it is. Does it does it show you like pixels? I don't know. Like pixel size, or it's just drawing. It's like I, I use it it. for draw. Yeah, drag and drop, and then. Okay. Some basic stuff. <laughs> but the the buttons are already made. Yeah, this is from Bootstrap. Uh, they have like they okay. have this Bootstrap uh, kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you can take any Bootstrap things in here. What? Uh -huh. Okay, it's really nice, I think. And there are like mock-up containers. Also, you can mock up like home page or something. For example, I can use this. Or it's a template. Mock up real and then bring this stuff down just yeah. to make them real beautiful. <laughs> now, yeah. now this is like real uh, this seems like uh, real than that one. Like this is a page. Yeah. Yeah. We can do. This. It looks more like this the page. Is, yeah. This is more professional <laughs> than the previous one. Yeah. This one now. Then maybe if it's possible, yeah, you can change this also. HTTP, <laughs> uh, <laughs> www.fcc.com, <laughs> for example. This. <laughs> yeah, make that plus five. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it's going to bother me until it's fixed. Yeah, I think. Uh, it's not uh, aligned. Aligned, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll... Okay, so walk through this one more time, just so. Ah, oh, okay. Let me find before it. I we get off the call, make sure I understand what we're gonna be doing. Okay. No. Okay, what about now? Maybe, is this okay now? Is it aligned? I don't know. The plus five. It just the plus five has aligned. something. Yeah, they seem to be aligned. Yeah. Yeah. Now? Yeah, yeah this is better. Yeah, yeah. Now it's okay. Yeah, no, now it's okay. Where is the center? Uh, uh, center. Which one? The, the adding quick. Some right. The head is not so. The plus, plus fifty is a little far out, isn't it? Ah, okay. <laughs> like that, right? Yeah. To left. Okay. Now. Little, okay. So. Okay. Uh, I'll leave it. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's uh, good the enough. idea okay. is that um, the idea is that because we started to do uh, from the FCC React uh, challenge that. We do the counter, so it's it's just make it that instead of doing one counter, then why don't we make like three buttons which adds up the whatever the content each button has? And then for example, in here there is plus five button, plus twenty five, and plus fifteen. If I press only five, and then this zero should be changed to five. And if I press also 25 and it will add 25 plus 5, it will be 30. If I uh, click 50, then it will be 80. 80 will give you if you press each button so one time. And you can you can still continuously uh, press the buttons. So for the next challenge, I'm thinking I will add another button which decrements mm -hmm. uh, like I, I will add here and this will be let's say minus five button if I click minus five it will be 75 uh, you got me like not now but yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would have um... decrement and also we will have yeah, reciprocal, reciprocal like subtraction uh, I think it's a good idea now that to have a receipt a receipt now because receipt doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't need any logic. We just press receipt; it will give us zero. Yeah. Yeah. 
This is yeah. I mean, okay. if someone wants to start the game again, so he can yeah. press the button. Yes, yes. Reset is a good option. <coughs> Use it now. Yeah, we can reset. Uh, yeah. So um, I'm writing the reset a uh, bold and a little more. Yeah. The reset button. Yeah. How is now? Yeah. Maybe center the reset button. The center, okay. Yeah, because it's a standalone button. In here? Uh, in here? In the center of. Then I move this. Uh, yeah, down. maybe move it at the bottom. Yeah. Like, like this. Over. Or, or after the click, after the buttons, after the submission. You mean after maybe, submission? Maybe. Yeah, put it closer to the click buttons. Yeah. Ah, uh, closer. Yeah, maybe under. Uh, yeah, under. Okay, yeah. I was thinking under like this. Yeah. Yeah, then it will sit you. Yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, I was. Uh... I was shadowing today, and uh, the guy was creating a uh, a component to. Uh, run a, uh, it would run a query and then it would check all the ones that on the results. And then what it would do is it would take all those in the, in the table, it would take each record that was checked and then it would export those into a CSV. Oh. But that was kind of cool. I got to see that. Yeah. <laughs> what he was doing. He was uh, he was creating a CSV from a checked checked list in the DOM. But uh, anyhow, it was just kind of neat. To nice. Yeah. See all the interaction there. And, uh, and the other day they were debugging uh, a filter. Uh -huh. It was like uh, filtering clothing by color and things like that. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I, I think the more and more I watch this every day, it's like helping me understand it a lot better. Okay, that's nice. Okay, Shrikant. I'll see you, man. But uh, yeah, I think I think we can end that in the end for the day. Uh, <coughs> Andrew joined, I think. Yeah, I've been working for a little while. Yeah, we uh, we just worked through a couple of uh, challenges. We did the. Um, the toggle toggle component and then we did the counter component challenge cool and then um, we were just talking through uh, what uh, what Jamal is sharing with this screen the adding click the button yeah so instead of just uh, uh, just the one button that increments or decrements uh, we want to increment by this 5, 25, and 50, and then have a reset button at the bottom. But uh, we want to... And this is through crawl.io? Yeah. Yeah, he created that on draw.io. Cool, man. But... Um, Anyway, we're, 
this is going to be our project. We're going to give this a shot over the next day or so on our Saturday. Well, I will not be on Sunday night. What's that? I won't be there tomorrow night, but I'll see y'all on Sunday night. Okay. Do you have an event tomorrow? Yes, a big one. <laughs> oh, okay. This, uh... I'll be gone from 4 p.m. to midnight. Okay. And no, I'm going, and I'm not going to see um, in game. That won't be for a week or so. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'm going to see in game. It's going to be a minute before I get to go. Yeah, it's going to be a while before I go. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I went to the movie theater. So. It's been two or three months for me. Yeah. I haven't gone in a while. But, uh, yeah, I finally got my computer uh, charger to work again. I, I noticed that. What tool did you have to use? And well, tell me when you finish the recording. I'm interested to know. Yeah, I'll tell you about it. But uh, uh, so I uploaded the the challenge. Okay. But uh, I will write the description later, or if anyone can help me now, go ahead and write. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you want to write it now. Yeah. Uh, now I cannot write. I have, I have something to do now. But oh, you just mentioned okay. that first they have to do the FCC challenge, uh, the exercise counter. That's, that's really helpful before they attempt this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're going to go beyond the uh, counter challenge. And then um, uh, I'm going to try to get all our videos uploaded. But uh, if you watch the video from today, Andrew, then yeah. you'll be able to see how um, Jamal and the other guys, they walked me through create, doing the Create React app. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure there's tutorials on uh, reactjs.org okay. for what we were doing. And uh, of course, in the book, um, What's the name of the book that we we've been the PDF book? Uh, what was it, Jamal? The road, the road to React. Road to React, yeah. Road to React has a good explanation. If if you're if you're learning, you're better learning at um, by reading or by looking at you know ReactJS.org. But uh, got you. Yeah, you got so you got the option of just reading to find out how to do that, or you can watch the video where we walked through it uh, cool. earlier today. So um, I'll try to get these loaded though. I've, yeah. got, I've got a backlog of recordings I need to get up. But <laughs> okay, yeah. now, uh, what was that, Andrew? No, I just exhaled. <laughs> okay. Yeah. One sec. Let me. Get up on. Hold my daughter. On the couch. Well, I hope you catch up on all this and. Sorry, man, it's not, it'll be Sunday. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll probably do some more projects uh, in the meantime. Okay, let me stop the recording there. Yeah. Complete the recording for today.